Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's create this student management system with local storage. We can see how to use this simple web application. We can insert records using the save button. If some input box is empty, the system gives an error message like this. Reset input boxes using the reset button. We can edit our records. We can delete our records. Then go to developer tools in your browser. You can press CRTL shift and I at once to open this. In the local storage, we can see our records. Refresh the web page. You will see that the data is not deleted. Data will not be deleted in the app as the records are in local storage. Close the app and run it again. You can see the previous data. Let's start this web application. Open a new VS Code project. Then create HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files like this. In HTML part we implement main body structure of over project. Link to CSS page. Now we can link a JavaScript file. Let's create a table with two columns, one for the student form and another for the set picture. At first, we can create a student information form.
I already downloaded some pictures and used them in this column. Now we have to implement another table for showing records after they have been submitted. The edit and delete buttons are in the relevant columns. Let's move to the CSS file to style this HTML page. In the HTML card, we have to link bootstrap links for style save, reset, edit, and delete buttons. Links are in the description. You can copy and paste it. Let's go to the JavaScript file. Now implement methods for inserting, resetting, editing, updating, and deleting data with local storage.
In the next video, I will store data in the database. We'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.